we continue the discussion of role of youth in nation building and we know that the strength of the nation the strength of any nation is the youth and now we have to consider strengthening the youth empowering the youth because youth is the backbone and the strength of a nation and ncc the national cadet corps the officers of the national cadet corps the associate ncc officers everybody knows the significance of empowering the youth that is the reason why we are organizing a number of camps like this and this five days online workshop on role of youth in nation building it, it has a lot of significance it's a, it has a lot of significance and we are discussing a number of subjects and topics in this workshop five days workshop and i am just helping the discussion of communication skills and remember i said the role of youth in nation building is tremendous remarkable and no doubt about that and if we have a strong if we have an efficient if we have a proficient if we have a productive qualitative leadership from the side of our young men and women our country will definitely soar up to glory and greatness excellence and this can be assured by communication skills if each of the young men and women in our society in the schools and colleges and other educational institutions or the universities of the country are very very effective in communication skills each of the youth will easily be empowered and they can gain jobs they can easily accomplish their ambition and luckily all the cadets in ncc have big dreams they are all dreaming to be commissioned officers ambassadors ias officers ips officers lawyers professors governors ceos likewise and the most significant factor to empower our young men and women is communication skill and we are discussing the same today because we know it has a lot to contribute to the empowerment of young men and women of the nation and you the ncc cadets as well as the students of the colleges and schools please know the fact that language skills is very essential for the development of personality language skills is very 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 important all the language skills are very important and you know the language skill, skills language skills and communication skills go hand in hand and communication skills okay we are discussing right now and what are language skills they are listening speaking reading and writing and each of the young men and women of our country are given free education in the schools and they go to the universities they go to the colleges and from there they must ensure that they just dedicate themselves for the improvement of their language skills and now in the second part of the discussion of communication skills we are discussing understanding basics of communication now this session is about discussing 
or uh, understanding, analyzing basics of communication. And the first point in this particular section is, of course, what is communication? We know that I said in the beginning, communication is conveying a message in different media. Okay, Commun see, you can convey a message, number one, through verbal media. See, what is verbal? That is, was spoken. And next is, of course, written. And next is, of course, gestures, signs, symbols, and all. So, one uh, a person, if any human being or any individual, any young man and young, young men, all right, they just, if they just want to succeed in their life, they must be completely confident of conveying a message through number one, verbal communication, that is speech. Number two, written communication, that is writing. And number three, proper gestures, proper signs. So we have uh, to be sure about the speech. And now when I speak about the first point in the basics of communication, that is of course, verbal or spoken, okay? Any individual, we will like people who just, uh, uh, just behave naturally to us. Say, for example, we have to use the spoken language. Everybody has to use it, and we have to use it. We have to use spoken language. All the languages, or all, 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 maybe your mother tongue, you have to use efficiently. You have to learn as many languages as possible, and you have to use it in the right context. Say, from the very beginning of the day itself. And what do you do in the day? You wake up. Okay, you have to use the language. So from the moment you open your eyes and you just look at your dad, look at your mom, use the language. That is the verbal use of language. And do you use it? Do you try to, if not, please do that today or from tomorrow onwards. Okay, you wake up, you look at your dad. Do you smile at your dad? Do you smile at your mom? Do you greet him? Good morning, dad. Good morning, mom. Do you greet your brother? Do you greet your sister? Oh, you would don't think this way. Oh, this is my, my dad. I see him every day. Why should I greet him? No, you have to. And these are all basic practices, habits we need to inculcate in ourselves. No matter whether it is your dad, no matter whether you see him every day, no matter whether it is, of course, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Don't think that it is irrelevant, it is relevant because that just shows your personality. If you don't greet your dad, you will not greet your neighbor. If you don't greet your dad and your neighbor, you won't greet your principal. If you don't greet your dad and your neighbor and your principal, you don't greet the prime minister if you see the prime minister. Think of that. You get a chance to see the prime minister, talk to the prime minister, and you will say, yeah, this is my principal. Why should I greet him? So please be sure about all these simple things and step by step through these simple steps, you are improving your communication skills. So verbal communication for spoken communication, you have to, of course, greet people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, namaste, wanakam, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Right, all these greetings, right, you have to use and that shows your personality. That shows your communication skill. So we are discussing basics of communication. And of course, we have to convey messages and we are using different means for communi communicating or convey conveying messages. We use the spoken language, we use the written also. A written, dear KH, please be sure about your written language. Please ask yourself, how is my writing? How is my writing of my mother tongue? How do I write Tamil? How do I write Hindi? How do I write Kannada? How do I write Malayalam? How do I write English? I learn German. How do I write German? I learn Spanish. How do I write Spanish? Ask yourself. And if you don't write your mother tongue perfectly, if there are errors in your mother tongue, it is very bad. It's very bad. 
be sure of your writing your mother tongue be sure of your writing your foreign language your second language your third language and you get a lot of chance to learn that in all the schools and colleges of kerala in all the schools and uh, colleges of tamil nadu in all the schools and colleges of our country india every young men or other old the, the the boys and girls are taught the language right english hindi tamil kannada telugu all right everything and you must be having a good written language and your teachers help you you have to take some effort go on writing and writing and writing thereby you can be good in your writing so know that the means of communication the 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 the, the medium of communication right you have spoken you have written and of course your gestures and signs and now we move on to of course the discussion of basics of communication so the first basic of uh, communication is the first point or important factor in communication is just conveying a message how do you convey a message we convey message through verbal medium we convey message through written medium we convey message through signs and symbols rather non verbal all right now we move on to the next point that is of course when it comes to right uh, communication right communication has a lot to do with relationships relationships okay if you don't communicate your relationship may not be rather warm so you have to communicate with your dad as i said everything has to everything has to begin from home like nizim asakel says home is the place from where one gathers grace so don't be reluctant to greet your dad don't be reluctant to greet your mom don't be reluctant to greet your brother your sister greet them similarly greet your neighbors greet your friends and there is nothing wrong in greeting that stranger you see in the road when you are jogging you are jogging because you want to be healthy and how can you be healthy without just smiling at a human being a human being is your brother and you are jogging a stranger in the road he is also jogging you are not smiling at him you are not greeting him why you know that he is a human being all human beings are our brothers and sisters all indians are our brothers and sisters you are an, in in an indian road so you see a stranger that is not a stranger is an indian so in the morning when you are jogging when you are just running you are cycling just smile and of course if the other person is smiling okay you got to use your prudence again right if you are smiling at him and the other person is smiling at you just greet him what is the result you are improving your communication skills slowly slowly you are making relationship so communication has a lot to do with relationships okay so if you don't communicate with your parents your brothers your sisters your neighbor you don't talk to them at all what will happen you don't talk what will happen you don't know what's in their mind they don't know what's in your mind your neighbor doesn't know what's in in your mind what's in his you don't know what's in his mind your boss doesn't know what's in your mind you know what's in your boss mind please communicate communicate to your parents communicate to your brothers communicate to your neighbors communicate to your friends your colleagues so that there is no suspicion there is no misunderstanding there is no gossiping there is no speculation there is no false assumptions we hear about a lot of uh, uh, fighting quarrels lynching murder a lot of negative evil incidents in our country in our society in our residential association in our neighborhood why all this is because of lack of communication so please be in the habit of communicating you get a chance to speak to somebody speak you get a chance to of course no um, i i know covid i know covid I, and and i know about the significance of social distancing but if everything is okay and in future you get a chance to shake hands with somebody I mean 
Okay, if there is in the, the problem of the virus, shake hands. There is no problem. Otherwise, okay, you can just say the namaste or other greeting and you just make relationship. There is no communication. All the relationships break. And now we move on to the next aspect of uh, uh, communication, right? We are understanding the basics of communication. First point, the means of communication. Second point, uh, okay, communication helps us to make relationship. No communication, relationships break. And now we move on to the yet another aspect of lack of communication. Okay, and uh, lack of communication will breed or generate or create, make a lot of problems in relationships. Some time ago, we saw that it is, of course, just a breaking relationship. Other than that, it will, of course, cause a lot of problems in relationships. Say, for example, you hear about, hear about a lot of divorces. You hear about a lot of uh, separated families. You hear a lot about, of course, children without dad, children without mom, separated parents. Okay, a lot of problems like that. Parents without children, right? parents thrown to the old age homes, a lot of problems like that. And all these problems in marriage, love, in office, in uh, all the places where you have one-to-one -one interaction, that is just because of the lack of communication. And a wonderful example for what happens in a a friendship or a relationship where there is no proper communication is the example uh, is of course the play by Tennessee Williams. Williams, the American playwright Tennessee Williams has written a perfect, wonderful drama about psychological problems in relationship, and that is of course something unspoken. In that play, you come across characters like Cornelia Scott and Grace Lancaster, and they have been together for more than 15 years and despite of being together for 15 years they don't know what is in the heart of each other and this is happening in our society this is happening in our family let us try to make warm relationships let us try to be loving and kind and affectionate through words gestures and maybe a little bit of pampering, patting and hugging. Now we move on to the next aspect of communication. So that is of course right, understanding basic communication. Communication is not always just talking. It is not just always uh, writing and all. It is of course like, it is, communication is of course right, uh, expressing emotions. Communication is expressing, expressing emotions. It is express, expressing affection. You love your dad. You love your dad. You love your mom. You don't talk to them. You don't shake hands with them. You don't hug them. You don't kiss them. What is there? There is nothing. There is nothing in saying that that person is your dad or you are that person's son. So express your emotion. Express your love. Express your respect. Express your concern. Express your feelings towards your wife. Your feelings towards your husband, your feelings towards your brother, your sister. Say you love him. Say you are important. He is important to you. Say your dad is important to you. Okay? Greet him. Wish him. Be with him. And this is very, very important. If there is no communication, relationships will break. And relationships, remember, relationships are, are like reservoirs. You have to fill relationships with uh, feelings, emotions, affection, love and all. You have to talk to your friend. Okay, so today you remember, when you hear me, when you listen to me, think of, when did you say your dad, you love your dad? When did you say your mom, you love your mom? When did you speak to your dad last? Did you speak to your neighbor? Did you speak to your brother? Did you speak to your colleague? Did you speak to your boss? Think of that. And now it is COVID and you don't see them. Okay, you can just think, did I call my neighbor? Did I call my brother in the US? Did I call my brother in 
Delhi, did I call my brother in Srinagar? When did I? Did I call my sister in Cincinnati or my sister in Meghalaya? You didn't call, call because this will nourish, this will of course make the relationship more warm and strong. Otherwise, your relationships will be empty and it will just collapse. All right, now we come to the next aspect. Okay, if there is, right, we are just going one by one. So means of communication, lack of communication, problems created by communication, and the necessity of expressing emotions and affections, all this come under communication skill. And now we say, we, we come to another point that's of course right. If there is so much of silence, right, sometimes there could be grudge or some kind of misunderstanding between people. You don't speak to your boss. You think that your boss is against you. You think that your boss doesn't care for you. You think that your head of the department doesn't care for you. You, you think that your principal doesn't care for you. You think that your tutor doesn't care for you. You think that your ANO doesn't care for you. You think that your senior under officer doesn't care for you. And you have some kind of anger. You have anger. Maybe you think that your dad doesn't care for you. Your mom doesn't care for you. Your brother doesn't care for you. Are you? And you stop talking to him. Maybe it is a week since you spoke to your dad. Maybe it is two days since you spoke to your mom. Your mom is cooking for you. Your mom is serving you. Mom does all the laundry. And it is two days. It is three days. It's a week since you told her something. You asked her something. You spoke to her. You think that your mom doesn't like you. You think that your brother doesn't like you. You think that your ANO, your senior is angry with you. And you have same anger in you and remember this kind of harboring of this is what is harboring of anger accumulation of anger accumulation of negative feelings accumulation of grudges if you are accumulating grudges like this anger like this hatred like this negative feelings like this you will be just like a very very explosive bomb you, you can break any moment and all on a sudden you just walk through your living room room and as you're walking through your living room you just hit against your brother you just happen to slip and you just fall upon or rather your brother just fall upon you and all your emotion your anger your grudge your hatred just comes out or rather in the college rather in your NCC office Maybe during a parade, you, you hate your senior, okay? And somehow you happen to fall down just because of your senior, or rather just because your senior happened to be there. And all your anger, your hatred, your envy, your grudge, all this will just explode. And that would be a terrible scene, like a battlefield. You'll be just shouting at your senior, You'll be just shouting at your junior. You'll be shouting at your dad, your mom. Entire emotion, say entire relationship, entire uh, uh, good feelings, all the positive feelings is gone. And that is when you keep silence. Don't keep any anything. Don't remain silent. You have some misunderstanding. Go to your friend. Speak it out solve your problem just ask him what's happening why don't you speak to me D did it happen do you have any problem with me how did it happen okay let us solve right maybe you have to forget maybe you have to forgive and you forget and forgive and patch up your differences life will be more comfortable life will be more cool and there would be positive emotions positive emotions of kindness sharing fellow feeling, love, sympathy, empathy, passion, compassion, all this will pour into your life and your life will be something like a beautiful flower in the garden. Any gentle breeze can make a dance in the petals of that flower. So make your life beautiful. Make your life a flower with a lot of fragrance. Make your life a bright, flame like a candle 
like just Florence Nightingale, Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, or any persons like that. Okay, so for all that, you have to remember all these basics of communication, to remember all the messages of communication, to remember ensure relationships, okay? Care for, bring up, protect and safeguard your relationships through communication skills. With that, we will just end this particular discussion. That is, of course, part one of communication skills, understanding basics of communication. And after a short break, we will just come to the second part in which we are discussing, of course, the other uh, relevance areas of uh, uh, communication skills. Thank you very much.